automatic instinct. And I just wanted to make sure everyone was safe. A woman who's wanted to fight fires all her life becomes a hero before officially becoming a firefighter. Jackie Giacchetti was coming home after passing a firefighting test. And that's when she was tested with a real emergency and she passed with flying colors. WBZ's Ryan Kath is here to explain. Ryan? Lisa, Jackie had just passed a physical agility test to become a Braintree firefighter. But then she got some high pressure on the job training, a literal trial by fire. I saw thick black smoke um, coming from this building behind me. Jackie Giacchetti was on her way home after telling the Braintree chief she'd just passed a firefighting test. That's when she saw smoke billowing from a nail salon in Weymouth and no first responders at the scene. I truly don't think that they knew exactly what was going on when I had entered this building, the nail salon. The fire and the smoke had not gone into the nail salon, but I knew it was a matter of time because I saw how bad it was outside and behind the building. She got the two women inside out, but the aspiring firefighter wasn't done yet. The flames quickly spread from the business on Washington Street to a nearby home. Gia Ketty rushed in and found a man trying to pack his belongings. It was within seconds of this place going up and minutes for this residency to go up. Tonight, everyone is okay thanks to her, but she's humble about those heroic acts. I don't feel that I'm a hero. I don't feel that I saved any lives. I just did what I thought was the right thing to do at that time. Gia Ketty has wanted to be a firefighter all her life, but she only recently got the chance, and she's obviously making the most of it. By the way, the state fire marshal just released the cause of the fire. Turns out a contractor's vacuum spontaneously combusted inside a van outside one of those buildings. Ryan Kath, WBZ News.